Well, we had a lot of success with the bass butler, so I figured I'd do a guitar butler. And this is what it is. It's a different thing to the bass butler because it's for a different instrument and it's going to be used in a different way. So with this, the guitar butler, we've got a dedicated clean channel and a dedicated kind of classic 70s vintage tube ampy sort of channel. <laughs> Like the bass butler, these are UK built product. What you've got is this, this switch will tell you what channel you're on. So we're now on the clean channel. Now we're on the overdriven channel. And then we've got two volumes that we can switch between with the second stomp. So on a dark stage, you can see it a mile off because you can see what color it is as well. You know, so you can see at a glance what channel you switch to or what volume you switch to. <laughs> It's actually a really pedal friendly clean channel. So you can put different pedals up front. Say there's a distortion you really like and you want to run it into say a brown fender kind of vibe and you like that sound, this will do that, this channel. So you can use this as a clean channel. You've got your, bot your bottom, mid and top here, which is the tone stack out of kind of a vintage tube amp really. presence on the top there, you've got the two volumes, you've got your treble, middle, bass and the gain. Now the gain on this lead channel comes in like a classic amp would, so it's not totally clean like a rocker verb from here to here. It comes in brighter and tighter and then just saturates more and gets fatter as you turn it up. Uh, if you get this past three quarters, it will push, it will start pushing into an, a fourth phantom stage, which keeps both channels in phase. And that won't really distort anymore, but it, it will give the impression of almost like a tube rectifier feel to it, you know, which is nice. Again, this is more vintage, classic flavored overdrive channel. It's not really a high gain, it gets pretty saturated, but it's not what I'd call a high gain, high gain. You know, it's more your classic kind of 70s vibe, you know. It never really distorts. It just kind of gets a little bit of natural single-ended compression, a bit like a tube rectifier. It's quite nice sometimes. You know, you get a bit of sag with it if you push that. You've got a buffered effects loop within this unit, within this preamp, so you can put time-based effects like delays, reverbs, whatever. You know, you've got an amp out that doesn't have cab sim. You've got a balanced out that has cab sim. And if you're going into an amp and a PA and you want to lift, lift the ground to stop any earth loop, you've got the ground lift switch here. So it's pretty simple, pretty intuitive really. You don't really have to think about it too much when you use it, because it's pretty obvious what's going on. Anyone really, anyone gigging, playing at home, recording, touring, it can be used as a backup that can go into a PA. Again, it's not genre specific. The idea with this really is to cover the musician for any as many different situations as possible. You know, it kind of covers you for flying gigs when they start happening again, hopefully, fingers crossed at some point. Put, put it on a pedal board, put your time-based stuff in your effects loop, power it, 18 volts, centre positive on this, same as the bass butler. It comes with a power supply, same as the bass butler. 18 volts. You might think, well, if you're going into a DAW, 
you've got effects on there, you know. You've got effects in the logic or wherever you're recording on, or the shoe bass, you know. <clears throat> but you might have certain pedals that do a thing they do, and you want that. You know, you don't want a run-of-the-mill plug-in doing it. You want, you know, your, your pedal going in before the cab sim as well, do you see? So it would be like going for an amp and you get what the speaker would do to it. Do you see what I'm saying? So you can get that with this.